Okay, hey everyone. Wanted to show you my Helicon Tex sear pouch concept. This is gonna be a uh, concept that you can include with a bug out bag, a backpack, a uh, car kit, anything basically you, you want the option to have a little kit where you can grab and go if you need to bug out from your bug out, I guess. Um, you can grab this, it's pretty lightweight, it's compact, you can throw it around your waist and it provides you everything you need to survive for several days. So the reason I'm doing this video now is that I'm going to be including this in my bug out bag video and rather than have to go through this again, I'll just reference this video um, when I create that one. So without delay, let's get to this kit. Okay, first of all, this is, uh, like I said, the Helicontech sear pouch. It has a, several different configurations for ways to carry. You have this adjustable shoulder slash waist strap if you want to use this. You also have the ability to um, use molly here, as you can see with these uh, molly straps. And it also has a pass-through, as you can see there and there, that you can then route a belt through so you can mount it sideways. And then as well as this little loop up top to pass a belt through as well. Uh, so multiple different carry configurations. And uh, let's go ahead and get to the contents here. This will be pretty similar to what I've shown in some other videos as far as the items I choose to include. But first of all, Gorilla Tape. This is about five feet of two inch Gorilla Tape. Good for multiple uses, starting fires, bandages. Uh, wet fire tinder for starting fire when it's uh, wet and difficult to start. I have multiple fire options here. These are Whirlapack stand-up bags. These are one liter bags. I have three total. Uh, I, I like these as well as the Wazoo Survival Reservoirs. I do like these because they come pre-fitted with the, I'm gonna go ahead and unravel one of these here so you can see it. They come pre-fitted with the um, twist tie up top and then the ability to stand up on their own. So that's why I like them. I also do have some of the Wazoo Reservoirs that I'll show a little bit later. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the back here first. So this is my tool uh, and my blade. This is the Victorinox Evo Grip S17. I'll go ahead and pull the tools out and show you um, all the tool options. All right, so these are the tools in the front. It's got a locking blade. This is the uh, locking mechanism right here. Uh, saw, scissors, can opener, screwdriver, little uh, file. So pretty tool heavy and I do like the fact that it has a saw and a pair of scissors. So I'll go ahead and close this back up and we'll go through the rest of the tools here. Um, also has the tortoise gear. This is their uh, fire tinder that you can place on the corkscrew. This is an ExoTac tinder zip tab. So there is a fire tinder on the inside of this cordage. And then also this is a glow in the dark firefly from tortoise gear little mini ferro rod. It also has an awl in the back too I'm not going to pull out, but that is my tool for cutting ability. Next here we have the, this is my full size big lighter concept. I'll place the video up top showing how to create this. It has the uh, zip tie up top to prevent accidental activation. It's got the wax candle wick, candle wick on the inside. Ranger bands, duct tape on the bottom. So just a good way to be able to consistently start fire. All right, next I have two of these beeswax candles. Um, just the ability to light with the lighter and then light contents on fire for fire starting. Can also be used for just temporary warmth within a shelter. Through night TI3 version two, little uh, flashlight with a reversible pocket clip. I like the moonlight mode on this light, very, very dim. Therefore it would last a long time. And that's basically all I'm probably gonna use unless I'm trying to signal. It also has this uh, high vis lanyard here. So that is my lighting. This is a five call supply whistle with the clip, survival whistle. And the odds are if you're going to this kit, if you're trying to get away, you have you can't you don't have time to pack things up. You basically just gotta grab and go. Odds are you're not gonna try to be signaling for rescue, you're just gonna be trying to get away from the situation. But I do have some signaling supplies here just in case. 
So this is kind of the main component here. We'll get into this. You all know I like my supplements. These are caffeine tabs, 200 milligrams each, six total. These are salt stick caps, five total. So electrolytes, just uh, your basic electrolytes. A little uh, button compass. This is from Helicontex. Ability to crudely navigate. I have three of these Wizzy Wipe pucks. These fold out to be pretty big. Can be used for TP, hygiene purposes, fire starting. This is a uh, travel eye drops. Has 10 drops total in this little container. And I shaved off the back just to make it smaller. Some first aid stuff here, steri strips. I chose these large because if I need to have smaller, I can just cut them down to what I need. So 12 total of these steri strips for lacerations and wounds, closing skin. No particular order in this kit. Five sheets of right and right notebook paper, communicating messages, making notes. Three paper coffee filters, so filtering out large sediment from my purification bags which we'll get into right now this is a potable aqua purification tablets I have 18 total so the idea you just drop these in one of the bags with the water you want to purify kills any kind of bacteria things like that that you don't want and then I have three of these floss singles these are for tying off the top of the wazoo survival water reservoir bags which I have right here. So three total, I've gone to these before. One liter bags can hold one liter of water and you can actually use these to boil water. Um, they have a 400 degree melt temperature. This is a Fisher Backpacker Space Pin. So with, used in conjun conjunction with the right in the rain paper to leave notes. Some large cloth bandages for Cuts, scrapes, wounds to keep clean. This is a petroleum jelly packet. Hygiene purposes, fire starting. Couple paper clips. Just gonna dump everything out here. So this is a little uh, Best Glide ASC survival mirror. This is a polished stainless steel. So very heavy duty, hardcore, but it's small in size. And just in case I need to signal for rescue have that option as well. Um, and then lastly, triple antibiotic ointment, two packets, keep infections from starting. Two of these large safety pins, multi-use, as well as the large paper clips, multi-use. So we'll get into the rest of this bag. Of course, the uh, laminated inventory list, quick access to all the contents of the kit. These are neuro mints, so it's basically a mint, but it's infused with caffeine, B vitamins, L-theanine, some other nootropic supplements, um, just a morale booster as well as a way to uh, maintain mental clarity. My shelter idea, I've shown this in a past video. These are the Titan Mylar blankets, and what I did is I included this um, Atwood micro cord I made for Prusik cord so the idea being I can use a ridge line and then use these to secure the corners in order to create a makeshift shelter from rain and sun so take one of these out so basically that's what it looks like um, I've shown in my past videos where my idea is I would use gorilla tape to tape off the corners then I would use my awl to punch a hole and then feed the micro cord through to create a makeshift um, anchor point to a ridge line. So that's the idea with that. And then I also, I included two, so I can use one for shelter, one for keeping rain off, uh, reflecting sun, and then I can use one as a blanket if needed. Good to have redundancy with those. I'm just gonna plot everything at the bottom of this thing. Uh, Wazoo trail markers, 10 total, reflective, nighttime, daytime, twist ties. Um, this is a bank line. This is about 20 feet of number 10 bank line. This was what I would use for my ridge line. 
um, and then in conjunction with the micro cord. Zip ties, Wazoo Survival 2, orange high vis. And then these are their gear tubes. So this is about 14 feet of 24 gauge brass wire. This is 40 feet of 50 pound test braided fishing line, as well as this is their uh, fishing kit here. So it has several weights, um, some hooks, safety pins. So just a way to manufacture a quick emergency fishing kit if I need it to. My idea for this kit though is if you're grabbing this and trying to get away, you're ideally going to be suited for um, up to a week, in which case it's not super vital that you eat. What's more important is you are able to purify water. So that's why I didn't include much food. Um, this is a little hank of micro cord, about 10 feet just for additional functionality, cordage if needed. Almost done here. This is a Bayite ferro rod, two inch ferro rod, pretty thick, a lot of good strikes. And then a Wazoo ceramic striker with some micro cord high vis uh, cordage here, just in case I drop it. So multiple redundancies when it comes to fire starting. Um, a little Exotac four hour beeswax candle. The idea behind this is if I needed to create a shelter and get warm and I didn't want to create a fire for visibility worries, then I could then light this Put it underneath the shelter with me and it could warm up the shelter substantially. These are Wazoo Survival Fire Plug Fire Tinder, Wax Fire Tinder, and what I did is I just wrapped each one individually with foil. This is my concept that I uh, made a video on previously called a Tindy Roll to play off the Tootsie Roll idea um, and then the, the foil helps you to just it aids in striking a ferro rod onto the tinder and creating a, a watertight platform. So another thing of fire tinder here, this is from Grim Workshop. These are little cards of fire tinder that you can cut strips off of, strike a fire rod onto. There's five sheets here, so redundancy with tinder, a lot of fire starting capability because fire is important. And then lastly, this is a Best Glide ASC wire saw, military wire saw. These are one of the more higher quality wire saws you can get seen some reviews on these. Um, the cool thing about this is that it can actually be used to cut metal if needed. Take this all out here. So you would then, obviously I'm not going to go ahead and go through it, but you would then clamp this down either side and then you could even create a bow saw. So bend a branch, cut some slits on either end and then use that so you're not having to use the rings if you don't want to. So additional ways to cut, make a shelter. All right, that's it for my sear pouch. Please like and subscribe. Check out the gear links below and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.